Czech patriot comes and thinks of a national tree when he sees the linden tree. But the beekeeper sees a great source of bee forage as well. And bee forage is what we are going to be focused on in this episode with our young beekeepers. Kids, come to me. So, let's start with a question. Andrew, what is it that attracts bees to the flowers? They collect nectar and pollen on them. Bees need it for the right nutrition. Excellent. Bees need rich pollen feasts to be well and healthy. That means various flowers, bushes and trees situated up to 5 kilometers from the beehive so the bees can fly there. And that's what we need to learn with our young beekeepers today. Let's start from the very beginning, from the seed actually. It's time to sow them in the soil and keep them watered. Wow, that's grown a lot. After a few weeks, it's time to put the seedling into a bigger flower pot. And why, Natalie? So the roots have enough space. The seedling needs to be put in a bigger pot once more and when the roots are strong enough, the flower can be put in the countryside. Kids have dug a hole so the seedling fits in just well. So what's next? We have to take care of the flowers and that means to provide them enough water and keep weed out. Our young beekeepers already know how important bee forage is. But what about the others? We have to teach them about it. One of many ways to promote beekeeping is a bee path that was created in Mikulovice in South Moravia. V roce 2007 jsme zbudovali stezku Moravského včelařství, která má sedm panelů, na kterých se mohou návštěvníci seznámit se životem včel. And that might be inspiration for you all about what to do with your beekeeping club. So, see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.